Welcome to my Chinese horror movie reviews. In this special review format, we'll not only check out the movie, but we'll explain the ending, because if you know anything about Chinese horror movies, then you know they aren't very conventional. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans, and welcome to this review of Painted Skin, The Double Mask, also known as Midnight Cosmetic Room. And no, this has absolutely nothing to do with the Donnie Yen movie of the same name or any of its sequels. With that out the way, let's check this odd movie out. A very pretty, talented artist, Ya Fei, studying what seems to be in her final year at university, suddenly feels the need to get plastic surgery to look even prettier. This occurs after she catches her ex-boyfriend flirting with one of her classmates, Sichi, a very tall girl who has a reputation around campus for her frequent cosmetic treatments. Ya Fei's punk rock best friend Shu Shu tries desperately to talk her out of it, but she refuses to listen to her. Sichi gives Yafei the details of the cosmetic surgery she gets all her work done in. It's a small and rather dingy looking clinic. No sane person would trust this place for any cosmetic surgery, surely. After being convinced by Dr. Mary, or Dr. Mary, her name changes frequently in the subtitles, to get the full works of face treatments, Yafei freaks out on the operating table and sees a ghost with a disfigured, burnt face. She then starts spreading a rumor around campus about the ghost she saw, and the other vain girls on campus, also desperate for a treatment or two, also report encountering the same ghost. But this ghost isn't satisfied with haunting the clinic, so it starts stalking the girls on campus, disfiguring their faces, and in some cases, doing even worse. Trust me, if you've seen one mainland Chinese ghost movie, you've seen them all. Don't get confused with Hong Kong and Taiwanese movies where they're allowed to explore proper supernatural themes, because the mainland Chinese can't do that. The only real difference between these movies is usually which pretty girl is the lead and which sub-character is playing as the ghost. One thing I tend to like about Chinese horror movies is the wide variety of ridiculous scenarios and plots they tend to be based on. I've seen movies about a haunted photograph, a killer hairdressing salon, a pair of embroidered shoes, and a haunted cinema. This movie is definitely being added to the weird pile. If you're a pervert, and I know there are a few of you out there, you're probably going to enjoy the scene of Yafei parading around in her underwear while Dr. Mary Mary criticizes her virtually perfect body. It's no wonder some girls develop negative body issues when a girl with a perfect body can be criticized for not being perfect enough. Personally, I think this ghost is just wearing ham on her face, such is how ridiculous it looks. This scene in the bathroom also looks decent enough, but I'm not sure I would be game enough to pick flecks of skin off my face. One thing I will give this movie points for is the storyline and plot. It's actually decent and interesting enough, and since it's virtually an all-female cast, it's easy to watch too. And before we move on, time to teach you another Chinese word. Nao Gui. This word means haunted. Nao Gui. Well, this is a Chinese horror film, so take your pick. The acting is on most part quite bad, with more instances of overacting than underacting in most cases. Also, as usual with these movies, the ghost makeup is just terrible. It looks fake, and that's because it is fake. I want to point out this section here, where there is some strange blurring in the picture. Now the blur looks red, so let's assume it's some kind of scar. We can also assume this was done to satisfy Chinese senses. Really, really odd. And of course, the ending is rather unsatisfactory, made even more unsatisfactory by the two walls of text from the filmmaker explaining the punishment dished out to the culprits as if adding these explanations somehow makes the movie more realistic. This is a spoiler section, so if you ever, ever plan on watching this film, maybe skip this bit. The ghost is explained as a side effect of a drug administered by Dr. Mary Mary, 
She is jealous of all the pretty girls in the movie because she was horribly disfigured in a fire. So what she would do is administer hallucinogenic drugs, that old Chinese horror movie Chestnut, that tricks the girls into believing there is a ghost hunting them. The additional side effect being that the girls are driven crazy enough by their visions that they self-harm themselves, usually by cutting their faces. This then means the girls have to revisit the clinic for more treatments. Essentially, Dr. Mary Mary has figured out a way to keep the girls coming back for more plastic surgery. It'd be pretty clever if it wasn't so damn evil. However, according to the movie, one month later, there's also another ghost. This ghost confronts Yafei in the storeroom and it is revealed that this ghost is actually the ghost the girls see on campus. And who is this ghost? Well, would you have guessed Yafei's best friend, Shu Shu? She secretly hates Yafei because she's naturally pretty and talented and wants to take all that away from her. Envy. It's all about envy. And vanity. Envy and vanity. And drugs. While you're watching this for two reasons. One, to see what the ridiculous ending was. And two, the pretty girls. For both of those reasons, this movie delivers. For anything else, you pick the wrong film. For something new for my movie reviews, I'm going to give two different ratings for this film. In general horror movie terms, in a scale of 1 to 5, this movie clearly gets a 1. It's a terrible horror film, or film in general. But that's part of its charm. And since it's unfair to score movies like this against actual good horror films, the second rating I'll give it is in a category I like to call Ghost, or Great Horror Movie or Stupid Trash. And its ghost rating is 4 out of 5 above average compared to most other Chinese horror movies. I hope you enjoyed this look at Chinese horror movies. This is a regular video series, so please press the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you for watching.